Windsurf just dropped Wave 13 and it's absolutely wild. They're giving away their best AI coding model for free for three months. Plus, you can now run multiple AI agents at the same time on different branches. They added a multi-pane view so you can watch all your agents work together. This is the biggest update they've ever done. Let me show you everything. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Okay, so Windsurf just released Wave 13. They're calling it the Ship Mass Edition. And this thing is packed with features that are going to change how you code with AI. First up is the biggest one. They're giving everyone free access to their SWE 1.5 model for three months. This is their near frontier AI coding model. It's basically their smartest model. And normally you'd have to pay for this, but for the next three months, it's completely free, no catch, just full access to their best coding intelligence. Now, why does this matter? Because SWE 1.5 is benchmarked on things like SWE Bench Pro. That means it can handle really complex coding tasks. We're talking about refactoring entire code bases, building new features from scratch, fixing bugs across multiple files. This isn't your basic autocomplete. This is an AI that actually understands your entire project and they made it the default model. So when you open Windsurf now, you're automatically using SWE 1.5. You don't have to do anything special. Just start coding and you're using their best model. But here's where it gets really interesting. They added parallel agents you can now run multiple cascade agents at the same time on the same project. Let me explain how this works because it's actually genius. They're using Git work trees. If you don't know what that is, it basically lets you check out different branches in separate directories, but they all share the same Git history. So you can have one agent working on a feature branch and another agent working on tests at the exact same time. No merge conflicts, no stepping on each other's toes. Think about what this means for your workflow you could have one agent building out a new landing page for the AI profit boardroom, while another agent is writing all the backend API code, and a third agent is updating the documentation, all happening at once, all in the same repo. This is true multi-agent coding. And to make this even better, they added a multi-pane UI. You can now view multiple cascade sessions side by side, split your screen, put one agent on the left, another on the right, Watch them both work in real time. I know what you're thinking. Why would you need to watch multiple agents? Well, here's the thing. Sometimes you want to compare approaches. Maybe you're testing two different ways to build a feature, or you want one agent focused on speed while another focuses on code quality. Now you can see both at the same time. No more switching back and forth between tabs. And speaking of automation, if you want to learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Windsurf, you need to check out the AI Profit boardroom. We're using these exact same AI coding tools to build automation systems that handle everything from content creation to customer support. Imagine having AI agents working on multiple projects for your business at the same time, just like these parallel agents in Windsurf. That's what we teach inside the AI profit boardroom. Link is in the description. Now let's talk about the dedicated terminal. This is a beta feature, but it's already solving a huge problem. Before this update, when Cascade ran commands, it would use your default shell. And sometimes that would cause issues, commands would hang, prompts would get stuck, it was annoying. Now they've built a dedicated Zage terminal just for Cascade. It loads your environment variables, it's interactive so it can handle confirmation prompts automatically, and it's way more reliable. If you're on Mac, you can turn this on in settings by disabling the legacy terminal option. Here's a real example. Let's say you're building a new email automation system for the AI Profit Boardroom. You ask Cascade to install some packages. In the old system, it might get stuck on a confirmation prompt. Now with a dedicated terminal, it just handles it. Boom, done, keeps moving. They also added a context window indicator. This is one of those small features that's actually really important. See, AI models have a limit on how much text they can process at once. That's the context window. And when you have a long conversation with Cascade, eventually older messages start dropping out of that window. Now you can see a visual meter showing how full your context window is. When it starts getting full, you know it's time to start a fresh session. No more random errors. No more wondering why the AI forgot something from earlier. You just have a clear indicator. Next up is Cascade Hooks. This lets you run custom scripts at different points in the agent workflow. For example, you could set up a hook that automatically runs your linter after every code edit, or runs your test suite, or formats your code, whatever you want. For enterprise users, they added system level rules and workflows. This means if you're managing a team, 
you can push out shared coding guidelines to everyone's windsurf installation. Everyone follows the same standards. Everyone uses the same workflows. It's all managed through MDM policies. Now let's talk about all the bug fixes. They fixed over 100 issues in this release. Markdown now renders correctly in the terminal. Code blocks keep their colors in diff outputs. Background race conditions are resolved. All those little annoying things that would pop up occasionally are now fixed. The stability improvements alone make this worth updating. Cascade is just more reliable now, commands execute faster, the UI is more responsive, everything feels smoother. Here's what makes Wave 13 different from other AI coding tools. Most tools give you one AI agent that you interact with, that's it. But Windsurf is building toward true multi-agent workflows. You can have multiple agents working independently on different parts of your code base. That's the future of AI-assisted development. And the fact that they're giving away SWE 1.5 for free for three months is incredible. This is their best model. This is the one that competes with Frontier models. And you get it for free. No limits on features, just full access. Think about how you could use this. You could build out an entire SaaS product using multiple agents. One agent handles the front end. Another builds the API. A third one writes documentation. A fourth one creates tests, all working together, all visible in your multi-pane view. Or let's say you're working on content automation for your business. You could have one agent building the scraper, another agent processing the data, another agent generating the content, and another agent handling the publishing workflow, four different branches, four different agents all running at once. The possibilities are endless, and with the dedicated terminal, everything runs smoothly. No more worrying about commands getting stuck. No more babysitting the AI. Just tell it what to build and watch it work. The context window indicator keeps you aware of when to start fresh sessions. The hooks let you maintain quality automatically. And the multi-pane view lets you monitor everything at once. This is the most complete AI coding environment I've seen. It's not just about autocomplete. It's not just about chat. It's about having multiple AI agents working together on complex projects. That's what makes Windsurf different. Now, if you want to learn how to use AI coding tools like Windsurf to build automation systems for your business, join the AI Profit Boardroom. We'll show you exactly how to leverage these AI agents to save hours every single day, how to build tools that actually solve real problems, and how to stay ahead with the latest AI updates. Link is in the description below. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab it's our free AI community, links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. So go download Windsurf if you haven't already, try out Wave 13, set up some parallel agents, split your screen and watch them work, test out the dedicated terminal and see how much faster you can build with multiple AI agents working together. This is just the beginning. AI coding tools are getting better every single month and Windsurf is leading the way with features like this. Free SWE 1.5, parallel agents, multi-pane views. This is the future of coding. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Are you going to try Windsurf? What are you going to build with it? Julian reads every single comment, so make sure you share your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.